for watching The Nine. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, today is a very special day. It is World Cocktail Day, and our good friends from the Apparatus Room at the Detroit Foundation Hotel, Peter Basarovsky, the lead bartender, is with us here. And Peter, let me tell you, 1806, the first World Cocktail Day. And we are here to celebrate. It's a fun global celebration of cocktails. Yes. It's actually the day when, in a New York tabloid, they published a definition of what is it to be a true cocktail. It's a mix of alcohol of any kind, okay. uh, sugar, water, and bitters. Oh, so right. basically, okay. it is the old-fashioned cocktail. Yeah. Look at that. And huh. 1806 was it's defined. The old exactly. <laughs> it's the old-fashioned way. So now we'll be doing some old fashions at the apparatus room, and as well as some new fashions. So wow. there's some spring cocktails coming in to celebrate sort of the culture of cocktails and mocktails. And, and I feel like cocktails, when you study the history of alcohol in our country, it changed as immigrants came over and of brought, course. you know, margaritas and mm -hmm. fruit and different things, right, to oh. our cocktail game. Yeah, it kind of elevated the... the yeah, changed yeah. everything. Absolutely. So what are we going to be making today? These are featured on your new cocktail menu. Yes, they will be starting this week, and the first cocktail I would like to try and I will be making is a guava-infused tequila cocktail, Ooh. and it's called Frida and Diego. Frida Kahlo and yes. Diego Rivera have a huge history with Detroit. Nice. Do we think that they enjoyed a few cocktails every now and again? I'm sure they did. <laughs> I think well, they do, Dina. I believe so. There was a passion for a flask and a pistol. You know, they have definitely passion for life. So we combined passion fruit juice as well as passion fruit puree. This is delicious. It looks beautiful. Oh, this is real, real good. Mm. All right, nice and sipping. sweet. We're sipping. We're sipping. I, Are we I toasting gulped. first? Cheers. Oh, sure. It's two day. It's not just any day. <laughs> it's two day. Not Tuesday. Yeah. Not to be confused. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, that's a perfect shake. Oh, that's so good. You good. like that? Yeah. Oh, this is lovely. What is this on the side here? So that is tahini. It adds a little bit of heat, mm -hmm. you know, to celebrate sort of the passion of life. And I love how you do it on only one part of the glass mm -hmm. and not the entire yeah. glass. That way you have a sort of freedom and choice to see how much of the yeah. flavor yes. you would like to add into your cocktail. Give us the choice. Exactly. I also love these coasters. They have the logo of the hotel. And they sort of represent the oh, rising nice. phoenix. And the hotel itself, I mean, just a treasure downtown. I it mean, is such a beautiful building. It's man, connected to history. Really it's the old fire station. And it sort of celebrates the history of Detroit and the culture here in the Midwest. I love that. Right, so this move on is to our next cocktail? Here? The next cocktail is called, it has a beautiful name. It's connected to the house on the prairie, little house on the prairie. And it's named after the farm. It's the Plum Creek near the Walnut Grove. Oh. And we are using prairie vodka. Here in Detroit, we like to, you know, to showcase some of the local gems. Yeah. Sure. But also some of the neighbors near us have some organic gluten-free vodka that they would like to, you know, share with the world. And we like to support that. I mean, I so with this prairie gluten-free vodka, I'm combining homemade uh, honeydew and cucumber. Oh my gosh. Cordial. No, too late. Oh man, cheers, ladies. We can't cheers, right? Sorry, you took I'm a sorry. sip already. Isn't that bad uh, luck? Is a little it? bit of yuzu juice. <laughs> what do you say when you do a cheers? Nasdravi. Okay. Nasdravi. It's similar to Nasdravi, it means to your health. And yeah, that's really the only thing that matters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Right? Oh, this is good too. Yeah, this is good. Gorgeous flower in there. So the idea for this cocktail is to sort of celebrate the seasonal, uh, beautiful elements of spring and summer. Mm. Kind of take you through the walk of a meadow with botanicals mm. and juicy flavors of nature. Now, when you serve this, you want people to sip it and walk through the meadow and not be uh, taking a two big gulps yeah, and be you done. Don't, right? yes, yeah, please. you don't want to just slam it right? Right? visit yeah. the garden and I dip out. I feel like that you guys are crafting these beautiful cocktails and we need to appreciate them slowly. 
please. And that's the idea, mm -hmm. kind of savor the moment. Mm -hmm. And to elevate this cocktail, we made a little fellow, I'm, I'm sorry, fennel pollen, sometimes known as the fennel pollen. Yeah. Uh, aromatic. Oh, oh yes. Oh, my wow. goodness. And I've never put seen a little that bit before. of that on my neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a uh, felon pollen and uh, just a little bit of uh, lemon zest and a mm -hmm. few elements to sort of bring the botanical well, well, element wow. to the cocktail. Excuse my, me. My, my, this is impressive. Well, All thank right. You so thank much. you. Peter, great stuff. Go see Peter at the Apparatus Room, Detroit Foundation Hotel, DetroitFoundationHotel.com. You can always uh, find it through there or, of course, uh, at it uh, backslash apparatus dash room. I'm Larned over there in Detroit. How about it? World Cocktail Day. Love it. We'll be right back.